Hello and welcome to this course which is going to go over some of the basics of programming in ASP.NET. My name is Spencer and you will be sick of my voice before long. So let's get in and do it. So the very first thing we need to do is download some software that's going to help us develop the programs in .NET. Now we can actually, as it turns out, do this in a bunch of different ways, but the easiest way, the intended way, is to use Visual Studio. And that's different than Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to type in here Visual Studio Community. And so we're going to search for Visual Studio Community, which is the free version of the enterprise software that uh, Microsoft uh, provides. And so I'm going to click on this link that says Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. That's going to take us in here and I'm going to click download to download the latest version of Visual Studio Community. That'll download the, the setup file, so I'll click on that to open it. And then, yes, I want to allow this app to make changes to my device. I'll click continue here, which is going to download and install the installer. So we're installing the installer, which is going to go allow us to download a bunch of different, uh, different software packages depending on our needs. All right, so you can see here there's a bunch of different what they call workloads. So these are different packages depending on what you're going to do. Now, as it turns out, the one we want is ASP.NET and web development. That's what we're going to use for now. We may install something later if we need it, but uh, that's the one we're going to use. Now, you can see here you can build lots of different things, Python, Azure, Node.js. We can build stuff specifically for the desktop. Um, and we can uh, do uh, build games. Um, data science, data, data storage and processing. There's lots of different options here. And um, why not install all of them? Well, because each of them comes at a cost in terms of space. And if we install all of them, it gets really big and uh, you know sometimes unwieldy. And so uh, this workload is actually selecting a, a group of components from this individual's component screen, but it does it all as a group. And so we're going to click here the ASP.NET and web development. And then I'm going to choose the option, which I just think works, works better, to download all and then install. Just seems to work better. If you want to change your location, you can do that. And then once I'm ready, I'm going to click the install button. Now we saw it was going to be six gigabytes, so this is going to take a little while. And so just to talk a little bit about what .NET is, um, you know, way back in the beginning of the, the web, uh, you know, coming to be, uh, we had static pages. Everything was just static, meaning that the content didn't change. And so that worked well for displaying information, but for any site that was being updated on a regular basis, or think about websites that um, sell things, commerce websites, e-commerce websites. Um, we want that content to change based on what the user is is um, selecting, right? And so at some point, I believe it was in 2002, Microsoft developed ASP.NET, which was uh, ASP stands for Active Server Pages. And so um, the, the content that was uh, developed there was dynamic, meaning it changed on a regular basis. And so... Um, as the user input something, the content would change based on what the user input. And that was a new and, and different thing way back when. And as the, uh, time went on and, and uh, the, the world evolved in terms of the internet, um, that became a much more standard thing. And so uh, anyway, we use .NET now, it, the purpose of it is still web development, but it's come a long way since then. And it used to work only on Microsoft uh, computers that had the .NET framework installed. Now, it works across platforms, and we have so many different tools that, that help us as we develop these uh, .NET websites. And so, uh, or I should say web apps. A website is a specific page. A bunch of pages working together is a web app. And um, so we're going to develop a lot of web apps in this 
uh, particular course. And so, uh, again, we've come through many different versions. Um, the latest version of, as of the recording of this video is, is .NET 8 that was just released not too long ago, and that's what we'll be using. Um, but this environment has evolved and grown and become something really cool to develop web software. This could still take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and, and through the magic of video, pause until this finishes. But, uh, you know, in terms of software that you can develop in, Visual Studio is just about as good as it gets. And the, the apps we can develop, we can develop them uh, very quickly um, it, because .NET provides so many tools to us. And it gives us a lot of flexibility to work with other uh, third-party applications and bring in other features into our, our websites. And so, um, anyway, there's a lot of positive. It's just compared to other programming environments, you're going to notice it's a professional environment that provides us a ton of tools, maybe too many. And maybe we'll talk about that along the way. But I'll go ahead and pause and let this installation finish out, and we'll pick up when we're done. All right, it looks like we've just finished up. And so you get this screen that pops up that says sign in to Visual Studio. Now you can do this if you want to, but you can also just say uh, skip for now. Um, if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in. Uh, I'm gonna choose just for now to skip for now. And uh, we can choose our theme. How do we want this to look? Um, traditional is, is this look, and so I might go with what do I want to do? This is a tough decision. Help me out. Oh, you can't help me out. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll try the dark theme. Why not? Let's see what it looks like. I know that's a, a popular thing. So I'll start Visual Studio. And there we are. We're ready to go ahead and, and create a project. And so that is the installation. That's all we need. And uh, now we can get rolling on actually writing some code which we will do in the next video. Spencer, out.